This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CXCAS Technology Student course. In this lesson, we will learn how to use the Finance Solver. The Finance Solver will solve problems relating to annuities such as loans, mortgages, and investments. To access the Finance Solver, press Menu, then navigate to Finance, and select the first option, Finance Solver. To use the Finance Solver, we enter values into all but one of the boxes. The one that we do not enter in will be the value that we calculate. N is the number of payments. I is the annual interest rate as a percentage. PV is the present value, which is negative for investments. In general, negative money amounts indicate money that you give to the bank and positive amounts indicate money you receive from the bank. PMT is the payment which is negative for investments or loans if we pay the bank. FV is the future value. PPY is the payments per year. CPY is the interest calculations period per year. PMTAT refers to payments made at the end or beginning of each period. We'll look at an example to see how we can use the finance solver. Suppose we have taken out a loan of $50,000, which is to be repaid with monthly installments of $1,000 with an interest rate of 3.1% per annum, compounding monthly. We may want to find how many monthly repayments it'll take to fully repay the loan. N, the number of repayments, is what we don't know and what we're trying to find. So we'll leave that blank for now. The interest rate is 3.1%. The present value of the loan is 50,000. We input positive 50,000 because we have received that money from the bank. The payment is negative 1,000 because we are paying the bank $1,000 per month. The future value of the loan will be zero in this case, since we're looking at when the loan is fully repaid. Payments per year, will be 12 as we are paying monthly, and the compounding per year will be 12 as we are compounding per month. After entering all the values, except for the unknown quantity, we navigate back to the value that we want to find and press enter. So there we see it'll take approximately 54 periods. Suppose we want to know how much we had owing after 12 payments or in this case, 12 months. We would enter in 12 for N and then navigate to the future value box and press enter. The answer will be negative because we still need to pay that amount and negative amounts in the financial solver mean that we are paying back the bank. If we wanted to find out how much we would need to pay each month, so the loan was fully repaid after 48 months, we would make the future value zero. We would need to change the number of periods to be 48, and then and navigate to the payment box and press enter. That's all for this session. Be sure to check out other videos in this course.